Hi there, good morning. This is the grave of Jim Morrison in the Père Lachaise Cemetery. You can see a barrier here. Apparently there used to be a headstone of Jim Morrison at his gravesite here, which was stolen. Actually, I can see the one on top there. I guess maybe that's him. It looks more like an angel. No, I think that is just an angel. So there was a uh, headstone of Jim Morrison, which was apparently stolen, and I'm sure that is the reason for this barrier. So I'm going to get started walking through the uh, cemetery here. I will talk about Jim Morrison in a minute. First, I wanted to tell the story of trying to find the grave site. So this is my second time here. I was here five years ago, same time of year in winter in uh, February. And uh, of course, visiting the uh, grave of Jim Morrison is kind of a tourist attraction of sorts here in Paris, a popular thing. And so I wanted to do that. So I plugged in the uh, Père Lachaise Cemetery and walked over here thinking, okay, this is a tourist attraction. It is a, you know, popularly visited place, the specific uh, grave of Jim Morrison. And so I thought, okay, you just get to the cemetery and then there will be signs, something indicating finding it. And I quickly realized, where do you go? This is just the beginning. The Père Lachaise Cemetery is the largest cemetery in Paris. It is the most visited cemetery in the world. There are more than a million people buried here. So, trying to find a needle in a haystack is not even a good analogy. That would be easy compared to trying to find a specific gravesite in the cemetery. Okay, I'm going to uh, sort of get lost in the tombstones here and get away from the people so I can talk without disturbing anyone, and also you get a uh, idea of the vastness. Now there are signs at the entrances indicating where various uh, famous people are in the cemetery. There are sections and uh, then like, I guess, numbers of the specific uh, site, and so you can try to find it that way. I did that, like wrote down the number or whatever, the last time and was still wandering around and having no luck and finally saw some people and asked them and they had just come from Jim Morrison's grave and uh, pointed me in the right direction. And so this time I thought, well I've been there before, it will be fairly easy to find it, I'll recognize something. I had just forgotten about how huge this uh, cemetery is. And so I just walked past the uh, signs that uh, indicate where certain people are. And then I got lost like way back up here somewhere and realized I'm not recognizing anything. It is all just, you know, tombstones after tombstones and very, very interesting, remarkable ones. I mean, look at this. Family Fauci. And so I walked back down to the signs at the entrance, which was kind of a long walk, and, uh, and I took note of the uh, location of Jim Morrison's gravesite, and then I thought, oh, maybe it's on Google Maps. And sure enough, it is. So if you want to uh, make your day a little easier, just plug in. Jim Morrison's grave, and it will get you right there. So for those who don't know, Jim Morrison was an American rock and roll musician in the 1960s, lead singer of The Doors, considered one of the uh, greatest lead singers and uh, musicians of all time. 
They uh, release six albums as The Doors. Jim Morrison died here in Paris on July 3rd, 1971, of mysterious causes. It very likely could have been drug overdose, most likely, but uh, not known because there was no autopsy performed. He was living here basically escaping a trial against him for indecent exposure at one of his concerts in which he apparently exposed himself. He was a wild and unpredictable and intense, mysterious, creative, very rebellious character. And made a lot of good music. My favorite Doors album is actually not a Doors album, it is An American Prayer. It was released after Jim Morrison died. I think it is Jim Morrison and the Doors, An American Prayer, something like that. A uh, really cool album of kind of a random hodgepodge of songs that weren't released on other albums and uh, reading poetry and some live concert uh, songs and stuff like that. So, uh, my last name is Morris. My father's name is Jim. Jim Morris. Different from Jim Morrison. I guess you could say that I'm Jim Morris' son. Jim Morris's son. That just occurred to me for the first time just now. So the plan for today is to visit a uh, few different uh, interesting locations including the Catacombs of Paris which if you think that this place is creepy that place is going to be a whole other level figuratively and literally the level underground so uh should be a very interesting day of exploring a uh, beautiful sunny day very cold still in the 30s Fahrenheit but it will be warming up this is my last day in Paris this time tomorrow flying to Corsica some of you guessed it right looking forward to it a uh, nice short flight direct flight Mediterranean island that I haven't been to before and looks really really beautiful So the entrance into the Père Lachaise Cemetery is right over there. Look at this. This appears to be a list of all of the people that are buried here. XYZ, not a lot of XYZ last names. But look how big this sign is. Prepare to be astonished. This entire block. Ah, so they're uh, alphabetized in various sections. So the uh, XYZ section was only for one part of it. Here we have again. YZ. I guess it's by year somehow or something else. Anyways, a lot of people are resting, hopefully in peace, on the other side of this wall. So that is the end of that sign. There is another entrance into the cemetery. And where I'm going next is 2.6 kilometers away. So I'm going to take the Paris Metro. Tickets are about $2.
I'm now at the Place de la Republic. Heading this way. They have these uh, great uh, bicycle paths. These Smurfs. Like the fighting Smurfs or the angry Smurfs or something. Anyways, I uh, was in uh, Brussels going to the train station. Saw a uh, big uh, like mural of the Smurfs on the ceiling of this tunnel I went through and I remarked, that seems kind of random, not random at all as uh, people commented, the Smurfs were invented in Belgium. So in my last video, I made the comment that Paris is not a city of attractions. And this is what I'm talking about. You don't find Paris at the Louvre or the Eiffel Tower or the Place de la Concorde or the Arc de Triomphe. Of course, those are part of the city of Paris, but really, this is more where you find the heart and soul of Paris is these quaint little neighborhoods of all these different shops with character, not just a bunch of chain restaurants, but distinctly French establishments with a more of a small town feel. A big old arch. But first, somebody had recommended Passage Brady. An indoor market. That's right, they had said it was a good place to get the best Indian food in Paris. It smells really good in here. Both uh, food smells and incense. Tali. Pondicherry Tali. How cool to see that. Nine euros. A lot more expensive than India, but pretty good deal for a full meal. I'm getting hungry actually. Hmm. Should I go Indian or go French? Bonjour. Merci, <laughs> so this is the Port St. Denis, a uh, former entrance into the 
old city of Paris, built in the 17th century. Looks like Latin there. So this arch is right down the street from the arch with the uh, tents under it that I commented on when I first arrived and then made a whole video about. And I hadn't realized that this other arch was just a uh, three minute walk down this uh, street here. Pretty phenomenal. Getting a crepe here. Yeah. America. Yeah. America. Yeah. Making a video of uh, Paris. We do, we do. Yes, yes, exactly. You are from. Algeria, Algeria. Algeria, Algeria, Algeria. 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 I see. Okay. Yeah. No, North Africa. Yes. North you are. Africa. You also. Yeah. I'm from the United States. Right. But States. You, but where, you live in. Where, where do you live in uh, States? Northern California. Ah, uh, Northern California. Yeah, really. Ah, uh, not sure, sure. Yeah, really, not sure, sure. <laughs> Too easy. You live in Paris, though, or? Uh, no, I live in Marseille. In Marseille, I see. Yeah. I, I haven't been there. In, in live in Paris. Well, Marseille is a nice city. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. yeah. Cool. It's nice city. Yeah. Uh, it's a beach. Ah, it's on the beach. Yeah. On the Côte d'Azur. Uh, Mediterranean. Mediterranean. No. Riviera. Eight kilometers. I see. Uh, one. Uh, one hundred zero kilometers. I see. Okay. <laughs> from, from Paris. Huh? From Paris. Oh, every weekend. Weekend. I see. I see. Yeah. <laughs> So a ham and cheese crepe here for six euros or about seven bucks. And here we have the other arch, the Port Saint Martin, also a old entrance into the uh, old fortifications of Paris. So I'm going to... Looks like this is the guy that uh, lives in the tent. So he does have a prime spot as far as like, coverage from the rain. Can't blame him, I guess. Alright, going to uh, munch on this and then head for the catacombs. I just took the uh, metro to a completely different part of Paris, quite a long ways, to get to the catacombs. Looks like that is the line. Down under the ground. The catacombs are a burial area in which they moved the bodies out of cemeteries because they were taking up too much space and moved them underground like thousands and thousands of people. That is the Notre Dame Cathedral. Previously I was over at the St. Denis Strasbourg Arch and uh, Metro Station. I took the 4 all the way to Ooh, S E C. However, you say that, Denfert, Rocharu. Unfortunately, to find bad news, the catacombs are all full up the reservations for today. You have to uh, make reservations in advance, so that is a shame. They sounded really, really cool. Like, 
lots of skulls and bones and stuff, remains of the uh, old uh, cemetery burial sites, something like that. I'm sure it's like a lot of tunnels to explore. So, plan B, instead of going under the ground, let's try to go up in the sky. That's a tall one, and a very interesting looking market area here. Montparnasse is this uh, area of Paris. That seems to be the tallest building around, so... That might be where I'm going, but I'm not sure yet. Let's see if we have another travel fail situation or if I can get a ticket. Non, <laughs> Is that okay? I'll go for that. Yes. It's for like a school or something? Yes. Yes. I think. Excellent. I don't know. Yeah. For a school trip, you said? Yes. Yes. To where? Oh, to Spain. Where? Where in Spain? Where? Canary Island. Canary Island. Canary Island. Ah, sweet, sweet. I've been there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, for you. Merci beaucoup. Thank you very much. Have a fun trip. Yes. Yeah. So yes, this is the building that I'm trying to get to the top of. Entree. And I got some lemon cake. The uh, school group over there. Saving up for a trip to the Canary Islands. That's a, a great cause. It seems like it's going to take a lot of cake to sell to make that one happen, but uh, all the best to them. Okay, let's uh, see what's happening here. Mission accomplished. 18 euros to uh, take the elevator up here. There is a bar upstairs. It's definitely time for a beer. <laughs> Beer accomplished, view accomplished, look at this over here. 